and good morning. Today is the first day of Ramadan in Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> year that I've ever been in a Muslim country for the period of Ramadan so I thought I would take the opportunity and participate in solidarity with my Muslim friends. I really hope that this experience will help me to learn more about the Islamic religion and culture and to help me empathize with the 1.8 billion people around the world who observe Ramadan regularly. So what is Ramadan? Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. Muslims believe that this month is special because it was during this month that the Prophet Muhammad received the first words of the Quran from God. Ramadan is a time where Muslims abstain from food, water, sexual acts and negative behaviours like swearing and smoking during the sunlight hours. It is a real test of willpower and discipline. Fasting is actually one of the five pillars of Islam. Fasting is done to increase taqwa, which is a kind of like spiritual goodness. Ramadan is also an opportunity to empathize with those less fortunate who maybe don't have regular access to food and water. Zakat is another pillar of Islam that's all about charity. The experience of being hungry and thirsty and the reminder of how hard life can be encourages people to donate money to charity. Muslims who are financially stable are encouraged to donate to charity throughout the year but especially during Ramadan. Everything you do in Ramadan counts a lot more than throughout the rest of the year. It also seems like a great time to reflect and be grateful for what we do have. For most of my life, I really misunderstood Ramadan. I used to think that it was a time that Muslims must dread. I've since learned that Ramadan is the most looked forward to time of the year for so many Muslims. Ramadan is a really spiritual time. It's also an opportunity to right wrongs and to create some really positive habits. We will be fasting and upping our charitable game, but we will not be praying because we are not religious. Instead, we will be using that prayer time to meditate, to connect to ourselves, to others and to the world around us. So, let's rewind to this morning. Good morning, it's 4 a.m. And it's the first day of Ramadan. So we're getting up super early to have sahur, which is like the last meal before sunrise. I'm really sleepy. I'm trying to drink at least two of these. I know that this is what I'm gonna struggle with today. I've got a chia seed pudding with fruit and granola. It's actually so hard to eat when you're not hungry. I'm like force feeding myself. We're waiting for the first call to prayer of Ramadan. I'm a bit sleepy. It's a nice temperature though. <laughs> it's cool for once. It's a good time to work out. Happy Ramadan! That was cool. So beautiful, the call to prayer, isn't it? It feels very atmospheric and I'm excited. I'm gonna try and get some sleep for another couple of hours. So I will see you in a bit. It's about 7 a.m. now. A beautiful way to start the day. I feel so zen and ready for the day ahead. The only thing that I would like now is a green tea. That sucks. I can't have one. I really want a green tea. I usually have one every morning and then I probably have about 10 more throughout the day. So I'm really missing it this morning. Adam, close that fridge door. 
don't remember the last time I had to show such restraint. Oh, this, this is what I want so badly. Oh my gosh. I want to eat everything. I'm gonna go out on a walk because I just need to get out of this house. Whoa, it's really boiling out here. I'm not sure if this is a good idea. This is probably gonna make me really dehydrated. It's about 35 degrees and I'm struggling. I have to wear my hat so I don't get sunburned. It would be so great to go swimming right now, but the pool and communal areas are all closed due to coronavirus lockdown. Sad times. Walking round and round and round in circles. We're allowed to go walking in the grounds. We just can't go out of the compound. That was hot. I'm so unbelievably thirsty like a desert. Ah. How long? Does it take to die from not having enough water? I feel so sorry for myself right now. Poor me. What about everyone else? I feel sorry for everybody else too. It's not just you. <laughs> I know. But I'm allowed to feel sorry for myself as well as everyone else. I'm lucky that I have this water that I can drink whenever I actually want to drink it. I could if I wanted to just drink this right now, so I'm very grateful for that. Some people don't have that. Oh, oh it's a good weight. Oh my gosh, it's hard to lift because it moves so much. We should work out with these. Oh. <laughs> Ramadan is giving and charity zakat. We're going to donate one charity per week during Ramadan. I've also been thinking about creating a GoFundMe page for the street cats here in Jeddah. There are so many street cats. It's so wonderful because they're lovely but it's also so sad because they're starving and I think the solution is a nutrient release program. If you're interested in donating please check out the link below. On a scale of Zero to ten, how hungry and thirsty are you now? Uh, about eight. An eight. <laughs> Pretty intense. Oh, I'm struggling. I really am struggling. It's about three o'clock and... I'm just so thirsty. That's the worst thing. I'm really hungry too, but oh my gosh, water. Every fibre in my body is like, drink, drink, find water. And it's so hard to restrain yourself and be like, no. So I've decided to have a nap because that way I can time travel to the future where there are less hours until sunset. A lot of my Muslim friends almost adopt a slightly nocturnal lifestyle during Ramadan. Is that cheating? I don't know. So I'll see you in a bit. I can't concentrate on anything. I feel like my brain is functioning at like 20%. So we're giving up on trying to do anything productive and we're just gonna have a Netflix marathon. We're gonna watch Friends and just like snuggle up with the GV on the sofa. Nearly it's our time soon. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you. So for the last half an hour, 45 minutes or so, I'm gonna go up onto the roof and watch the sunset, listen to the call to prayer, do some meditation and yoga just to center myself, calm down because I'm all jittery and my thoughts are all over the place. So I feel like I need to chill, take some breaths and just regain my composure before iftar.
such a lovely practice. I feel so zen now and like floaty. Isn't the space up there just dreamy? I feel so lucky to be able to practice there. <sighs> Gonna head back down now. Got our fruit and our water. and We are ready to go. It's time. Oh my gosh. Cheers. I almost feel like I can't drink it now. There's like this like thing that's stopping me drinking because I've held back for the whole day. Okay, ready? Cheers. Oh my gosh. And a date. Apparently that's the traditional way. Cheers. <laughs> I'm really favouring this. I feel so grateful. How are you feeling now, Adam? Uh, it was hard today, wasn't it? For our main meal, we have an Indian takeaway from Naan. <coughs> Yummy. It smells incredible. So excited about this, I can't even tell you. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. I really struggled today. It was so much harder than I thought it would be, but I'm very pleased that I did it. I think that the hardest part by far was the water fast coupled with the heat. I also think that lockdown didn't really help. Being at home all day on the weekend with no distractions meant that my mind was just constantly thinking about what is in the fridge. The experience really made me empathize with and respect the people who participate in Ramadan on a regular basis whilst also going about their everyday lives. My brain felt like it was functioning at only about 20% and I was so tired so I can't even imagine what it's like to be fasting and do exams or oh my gosh being a labourer working in the sun all day must be so challenging so so much respect. Fasting coupled with the meditation really made me acknowledge how lucky I am to have access to food and water. It is very humbling to recognise that some people and animals feel the way that I felt today on a regular basis, but they don't have the option of deciding to just give up and break their fast if they want to. It's made me feel very grateful for all the blessings that I have. Already, it has been a very interesting and valuable experience, and it is only the beginning. I hope to continue participating in Ramadan for the rest of the month. I haven't decided if I'll vlog it yet, but I will put an update of how it goes in the description box below. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to follow my journey. To all my non-Muslim friends, I hope that this video has helped you to learn something new about Ramadan. And to all my Muslim friends who are currently fasting, Ramadan Mubarak. Bye, see you soon.